so here we are in the pit uh, 20 meters away from the other one and this landscape as you can see is dominated by the blackberry and the blackberries has, have gone deep, gone deep into the soil and what we now measure is, well, first of all again we are at the surface and then we go down and like you can see here it's a wave of black stuff and it goes up to 60 centimeters from 40 50 uh, it's, it's consistently deeper than 50 centimeters and then ends up at 60 so if we look at the surface again at this part already like amongst the blackberries we have a lot of uh, forbs and other grasses that start to grow through there and why would they do that? well in the soil sample that was made from this pit the carbon was already uh, 4% and so the 4% and the pH was oh, well, I'll check that now uh, on the test I'm, I can't remember uh, what was it yeah yeah can't remember but the carbon is high and the pH is good so all the other species start to grow so what the blackberries have done is the blackberries have created an environment for the soil to improve and the blackberries also have put like carbon into the soil at a deeper level and activated the whole soil biology and that's like blackberries have uh, thorns and animals uh, don't eat them except the goats of course in this paddock and like thorns on plants is one way that mother nature starts to rescue so uh, soils and those soils that go backwards, those soils that become degraded plants will start to grow there with thorns so that animals can't eat those plants until that soil is good again and then the, the, like the blackberry will stop growing and other, other species will take over so if we so if we look here at the surface there's far more density of the plants and of course with the, with the forbs, with the, the, bro, the broader leaves there's a lot more light interception from the different species and as we then but like the hardness of the soil is still the same I can't dig in with my finger deeper than the one centimeter the same as the other place so then we start to look at the aggregates well here like this is the 10 centimeters oh, lots of roots so we break that away and again like the, the look look to be like more aggregates that stay in a, a bigger crumb size oh and there's a worm as well so there's little worms and the, the, the crumb structure the, 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 the big one broke up in little ones but not as dusty as the previous sample that we were so this soil is then healthier than the one where we were and very very dense roots but like here at 15 centimeters you can still see the crumbs the crumb structure that starts to be formed so that's with the higher carbon level in the soil we get uh, more more activity uh, yeah competition of the goats yeah so and as we as we look here for roots like we can see, still see the fibrous roots here and here at points where the black stuff goes like in that circle between 50 and 60 centimeters <laughs>